Why is the angle of sensors such as radar and cameras critical to how they see? We're going to find out next. Just like any electronic device you use today, angle is a factor you must consider. An everyday example is adjusting the angle of your computer monitor so your eyes can most comfortably read the screen. It's a simple concept that many repairers often overlook. The angle of any sensor, such as radar and cameras, is critical to how it sees what it is supposed to see and react accordingly. The vehicle trusts that the sensor angle is true, and procedures such as calibrations are used to validate that the vehicle is correctly aligned to those angles. One degree is a major deviation. The movement and tolerance to any structural repairs or pulling with frame equipment or just straightening a panel can have a major impact on a sensor's ability to properly do its job. Let's talk about attitude too. And no, we're not referring to a person's demeanor. The vehicle's attitude to a surface is an important piece to the success of any electronic repairs involving sensors. Lift kits, wheel size, and alignments are all considerations for any repair. Vehicle modifications have been perplexing to the repair industry. If the angle of the sensor is changed from specs, how is the vehicle's attitude to the surface modified as far as where the sensor is aimed? If the lifted truck can't see the vehicle in front or the child on a bike, the vehicle is not going to react or stop for it in time. So how do you calibrate a lifted vehicle? Some companies that provide lift kits have a sensor bracket change guide, which is great. But still, you have to wonder how a camera sees over a lifted vehicle's hood to see the lanes. Electronic repairs require certain procedures if there is a possibility you changed the connectivity or did a disconnect. If you change the angle of a sensor, even during an R&I, or did something that could change the attitude of the vehicle, multiple scans and calibrations may be required to complete the vehicle and validate that the sensors are seeing the way they're supposed to. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.